Girl Blanca's in the house. I'm back. Uh, I had to go away for a while. Been dealing with some personal things. Uh, been dealing with some major life changes and restructuring. A lot of people were wondering why I went radio silence. Well, I'm going to go ahead and open up and share with you guys why. This is embarrassing. This isn't that fun to talk about. But I'm going to make it fun to talk about because I want those who are going through similar situations to understand that there is things you can do to adjust your reality, and there's things you can do to move forward in life. So here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and break it out. Traumatic brain injury is a type of injury that occurs when external forces cause damage to the brain. This can happen as a result to a blow to the head, a fall, a car accident, a sports injury, or any other incident that causes the brain to shake or jolt within the skull. This combined with other outside factors, stress, diet, heartbreak, uh, going under anesthesia, a myriad of things can result in traumatic brain injuries uh, showing up maybe years later, maybe decades later, and oftentimes due to how the neurology science of the United States and the Western medicine handle these things, a lot of these diagnoses are made based on historic records. Many people have frustration when dealing with traumatic brain injuries or any type of brain disease for that matter, because from what I've seen in my own research, a lot of brain diseases are very similar in uh, relationship. This is tough for those who are dealing with them, whether they're dealing with neurodiversity, ADHD can be very crippling for some people, wonder why they procrastinate all the time. Uh, hold on one second, guys. And, uh, even when they're trying to deal with interpersonal relationships, because it's hard. It's hard for me. It's definitely hard for you. But the thing is, we all got to fight together. Uh, the severity of uh, TBIs can vary widely, uh, from mild concussions to severe brain damage. Symptoms of TBI can include headaches, dizziness, nausea, confusion, memory loss, difficulty constraint and changes of mood or behavior. Uh, now it's important to seek medical attention immediately if you suspect you or someone else has experienced a traumatic brain injury or it seems like that they're uh, it seems like they're actually having different uh, symptoms that are affecting your daily life. These things are hard to accept. It does feel like you are experiencing the morning. I'm going to tell you it does feel like this creeping feeling like something's dying inside of you. But you know what? You're still standing up. You're still breathing. There's still time on the clock. There's still time to wrestle and compete in life. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and go through some things about my personal experience and some of the things I've been doing. And I want this to be motivation for you to improve your chances of recovery. First of all, why me? What didn't I do to wind up here? is the reality. I wrestled year round since about the age of 12. I never took time off. I did double seasons of full contact sports, including football. Had to block Vontez perfect something in college. That's obviously not very good for your brain if you ever saw him play in the NFL. Uh, I had to, I wrestled with Cain Velasquez. If you ever guys saw him fight in his prime, that's probably not very good for your brain. And I just went year round. There's many of people who went year round who don't have traumatic brain injuries. That's one of the things that's confusing for people is why me? The answer to why me is uh, some people have genetic predispositions to where they're just more susceptible. This is stuff that science is beginning to understand. And what's frustrating about for me, and I'm sure it's frustrating about many, uh, frustrating for many of you is all these different uh, neurology fields and sectors that clearly overlap from my experience are all going in different directions and different tangents when I wish it would work together. But as a community, those who are suffering from traumatic brain injury or neurodiversity, I want this to be a beacon to where we can work together. And this can be used as a tool to either support, give information, or just show lifestyle changes that can happen to find a fulfilling life. Uh, 
One, one thing I want to talk about is some misconceptions held by ourselves and the world in general. Changes in personality do happen. It's been tough accepting that. The person I was before and the person I am now are, are very different people. Uh, some things that you realize, possibly it's getting older, but it, it, it's a change. I, I take things more literally. I think in a much more direct way. And uh, I get confused sometimes. Sometimes I'll read a situation out and it's not as it appears. I, I've been talking with experts and I've been learning that sometimes that's your neural network trying to find different ways to map out and to try to get to the answer because the roads that they used to take are blocked. So they're trying to find new roads. This is good. This means your brain's finding a way. You need to support your brain and learning how to cope and learning how to find a way. Because there's still things in life that you can do to make yourself successful and to make yourself have a fulfilling life. Uh, it's natural to miss your old life. It's natural to miss your old life for everybody. All of us miss things about our old lives as you get older. But for us, there's really something missing. And it's, it's difficult to accept. Uh, it's, it feels, if all of you guys are going through the five stages of grief, that, that's what it feels like. It, it feels like you miss your best friend, yourself. Uh, but they're still there. They might be in different forms. If you take this opportunity to view it as a way to mature and a way to evolve, there's still a lot of fulfillment you can find. Uh, one thing I want to discuss is you will have bad days, and that's okay. There's going to be some horrible days. There's going to be some days that you don't want to get out of bed. There's going to be some days that you don't want to fall asleep. There's going to be some days that opportunities you wish there to be are no longer there to be. I like to think that this is all part of your plan to put you in the place that you really need to be in life. It's important for you to keep those doors open and to attempt to go through the doors and partake in opportunities to give yourself a fulfilling life. The things that you wish for in your old life this is a great opportunity now that you're, you're, the, the game restarted to come up and formulate a new plan for how you're going to achieve those in your new life. You might need to get unconventional. You might need to get out of the box. Uh, I'll go over some different things about that, and I'm going to be showcasing that during this podcast. Uh, the importance of positivity. I think I just touched on that a little bit a second ago, but... You got to be positive. This is going to be tough. A lot of things are tough in life. Everybody's going through something. But in order for us to make it, we got to keep positive. It's going to be hard. One of the things that I've started doing is I quit cursing. I love cursing. But these negative thoughts and these negative frameworks are just not healthy for me. So that was one of the things I decided to throw out as a bad habit and really work on myself on. Uh, sugars. There seems to be a correlation between having too much sugar and it having negative impacts on different TBIs. I love soda and I love sweets. I've eliminated the sodas, drinking water, but sweets are something I'm working on. Those are things that you need to go ahead and do. Physical activity. This was a very tough one for me. The main thing that has always been the pillar of motivating me for physical activity was competition. I had to find some different ways to compete in life, having to push myself, not having others push me. Uh, yeah, the, the, this, is a, the, this is a big change. Uh, one, one thing that I'm doing is I'm actually leaning into the metaverse and I'm trying to help create Web3 martial arts opportunities and Metaverse martial art opportunities. There are ways to train. There are ways to stay involved in the activities you love. Whether you're going through dizziness, motion issues, or flat out, like am I, I'm experiencing, you just can't take any more shots of the head. You can't risk it. So I'm going to be sharing with you my attempts to 
re-enter these sport fields that I am passionate about and these activities I'm passionate about, but what I'm doing to train smarter with it. Uh, I will be bringing on experts. I'll be bringing on world-class coaches and athletes, and they will be sharing with us what they've seen be successful, different experiences they've had with themselves or their teammates, and we are going to come up with ideas and strategies on how we can re-enter our projects we are passionate about because there's just not a lot of information available. I was looking for it and I couldn't find it. So if anybody has a direction that they can point me to, God bless, help me with that. I will be more than happy to share that on the podcast. But if I can't find a way, I'll make one. Uh, learning to challenge your limitations smartly. It's important to challenge things correctly. What I've had to do is, and I, I'm not an organized person uh, previously, I, I've had to start organizing things very, very effectively in order to accomplish tasks. I'm also working with a very strong support network. My, my friend stepped up. I have uh, my friend right now helping record this. He's a uh, national level broadcaster, uh, Matt Doolittle. Shout out to Matt. Hello. Uh, so if you have the ability to find people within your support network in your tribe that are willing to give you assistance, your friends are going to be much more understanding than you can possibly imagine if you guys work together and if you find a way to not load things on them. So there's a fine line there, which we all have difficulty with. I'm going to openly discuss it. I'm going to discuss successes, failures, and frustrations but I want to keep it in a positive framework so we can take these as a learning tool as opposed to just something negative to think about. Uh, I'm going to mention it again. So what, one of the things that I think people run into is overcoming procrastination. It's something that's difficult and it gets us into a negative cycle loop. There, there's some science behind this for the procrastination. It's tough to formulate a plan when you're dealing with some sort of traumatic brain injury or neurodiversity brain disease. It's tough to pull the trigger because you're having to step out of your comfort zone of a comfort zone you're not even in. So there are some different tips and tricks. There's a couple of different things that you can do to try to hack the situations. I'm going to share my personal experiences and I'm going to bring experts on who also are willing to share their expertise or experiences to help everyone find a way. I'm hoping that these sort of uh, experiences, if they can work for people with traumatic brain injuries, they should work for everybody, in my opinion. So this isn't to be a pity party. This is going to be a tool. I'm just using my reality to create this tool for everyone to see. Uh, Re-entering activities that you loved. Guys, it's not your fault that you've had to adjust reality. Despite what you think in your head, you're not blackballed from things that you love. You can still participate in martial arts despite that you no longer wish to fight. You can still participate in industries that you no longer can participate in. For instance, I can't drink alcohol. It's not good for me. I don't think it's good for anybody but it's really not good for me. So I still have activities that I wish to participate in that alcohol is involved in. I'm not telling people that they have to quit drinking. I like going to parties where people are drinking, but if it's something that I can't participate in, I need to adjust my reality to find a way to fit within those confines. That's very doable. That's something that everybody has to do with age or with different circumstances. But with traumatic brain injuries or neurodiversity, it's important that you come into these things not only with a positive attitude, but you're probably going to have to formulate a strategy and plan to figure out where you're going to fit in to your new reality. To expand on that, Ken, real quick, is that something where like you have to assess the situation and separate yourself from it? It's a big thing, and that's where you know sometimes it's important to just meet with your support network and just ask. Just, you know, sometimes explain, hey, this is what's going on. I still want to be involved. I was kind of thinking this would be a good spot for me to be involved. You'll be amazed who's willing to help accommodate your situation 
to fit into the bigger goal and picture. It's not really, uh, it's not really something that you should ask people to change what they're doing to fit you in per se, but that's with regular people too. But people, you will be surprised when you're looking for, looking to contribute. Everybody wants somebody to help who can contribute, and from an outside lens. I think people are actually having to adjust to contribute for everybody. Everyone's got a little bit of a problem with everybody else. So your problems are just the standard problems that people were already planned to have to assess when they were working with others who contributed. If you come formulate a plan, you can provide a net positive to any situation that you're involved in. So. That's a big thing that I'm going to talk about with some of these plans, some of these assessments, and what we can all do to be successful in this journey. Uh, again, you know, forming a success network and managing those relationships, we're, we're going to get deep into, kind of like what we just discussed. Uh, I, I'm going to touch back on this, the importance of positivity in your life with mindfulness. Your brain is working hard to basically to heal. So what you do while this is healing is going to have a big part in how it heals. Your, your brain's rewiring. It, it, we, can't, we can't hide from that fact. That's why you feel personality changes. And in my opinion, that's one of the hardest parts is you are rewiring your brain while you're going through physical, mental, and emotional trauma. It's important to assess in this how to cope and how to move forward with the mental and the emotional trauma. Professionals, uh, uh, professional help is what I wish everyone had access to. Even some professionals have a difficult time understanding what we're going through because it's another variable that they're just not prepared to discuss many times. So form a support network, try and get professional help, and Finding different tools that are uh, that are supportive to what you're trying to do and that you find are beneficial is going to be key here. Uh, and last thing is, uh, I want you to challenge yourself to create a fulfilling life with your new reality, guys. So sometimes you got to find a way to dream big, but if your dream is available to you you got to accept that that was the way that the world, the universe uh, fulfilled your wish. Everybody wishes they could drive around and drive around Ferraris and do things like that. My reality was my legs couldn't fit under the steering wheel and my belly button touched the wheel. So driving a Ferrari was never in the cards, but I'm going to have a guest on who's one of the charter members of the Ferrari Club of Orlando, I'm going to get to ride in a Ferrari. I'm getting that accomplished. So that, for one, is just kind of an example of things that we're doing to adjust our reality to make our dreams come true. Uh, so want to go over with you guys some of these different topics that I'm going to be discussing in this uh, podcast. This podcast is meant to be a tool to find purpose and to contribute. The things that I feel I'm best at contributing to is uh, uh, is, uh, is our, my favorite topics in life. Th things I like to talk about that I still feel strongly I have the ability to contribute in are Technology, uh, NFT artwork and applications. I I'm going to be discussing heavily the metaverse and different metaverse activities that you can take part in because uh, many of these are great for fitness goals or for social goals and all sorts of different things they can contribute to. And I, I think this is the future. Uh, this is an opportunity for a fresh start for many of you. So I'm going to be highlighting that. If, if this isn't for everybody, that's okay. But for those of you that find that this is helpful, I'm excited for you. Uh, pro wrestling. Obviously, that's always been one of my passions in life since I was a little kid. Woo! 
Matt, you've known this. Every Christmas we would talk about pro wrestling. We went to WrestleMania together. We still talk about pro wrestling. Woo. Uh, so that's going to be something that I discuss. Uh, karate martial arts and mixed martial arts. Th this was a topic that was difficult for me to find a way to re-enter the re-enter the equation because you're coming around with traumatic brain injury so you get to watch people try to inflict brain injury on each other that's okay not everybody has the long-lasting results that some of us do uh, in my own experience it was a combination of things there were a few car accidents there was a major surgery and I'm, I'm just going to be real with everybody. I didn't take time off whenever I'd have stuff happen. I always wanted to go and compete, and I'm, I'm paying the price for some, th some ways. I, I used my brain and my body to create opportunities for myself, and the, the rubber hit the road on that. So I, I'm having to adjust to the new reality and use my experience and my mind to create those opportunities. Uh, Medical research is a big thing that we seem to have a lack of access to that I'm going to do my part to try to improve. Uh, I don't want to go into topics that are too off the beaten path, uh, partly for the safety of this channel, but also just uh, I don't know how healthy that is for everybody to uh, explore at times, but I will be bringing up some alternative theories or some emerging theories that maybe your doctors haven't quite explored yet or maybe you haven't had the ability to explore yet to, to give you some ideas of what to do and what, what you can do to try to be successful. Uh, and uh, some a lot of the guests, they're not going to have traumatic brain injuries, but they're going to know someone who's going through something. They might have a relative with one, a teammate with one, or they're going to be experts in their field and are experts in the field of creating their own realities. And that's ultimately what we need to learn how to do. We need to learn how to adjust with adjust with what the, the hand that's been dealt to us, roll with the punches, and let's run the table because the cards you got in life, you would be amazed with what you can do with them. Uh, and as always, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite topics, aliens. So... This podcast, uh, we're going to have, uh, I'm going to be putting out reels. I'm going to be putting out long form. Uh, I'm going to improve the process as we go. But this is going back to the procrastination thing. The important part is to just get started. So some of this footage is going to be better than others. Some of the people I'm getting access to, I want to get us access. And sometimes I got to do it on their terms. So there might be Instagram video records that we update. Audio might not be the best on some things. Some things are going to look really good. I'm going to try my best. And I have uh, Matt here who does produce top level uh, shows, has produced major radio shows and TV shows uh, assisting me. So I think we can get this really, really good uh, as we put forth the effort. Uh, and I want uh, one thing that I want to show you guys is, uh, you know, let you know this this uh, this traumatic brain uh, uh, this traumatic brain injury stuff. It, it's it's not fun. It's not a party, but life is so beautiful, and the road that you're taking, you, you need to take it as an adventure. Uh, it's important to support those around you and fill the world with love. Uh, la last but not least, uh, for, for everyone participating in Passover, uh, say the course, there's only a few more days left, uh, for everybody, uh, participating in Ramadan, may Allah bless you, your, your efforts during this blessed month of Ramadan, may your businesses flourish as you serve the community with your products, may Allah reward you abundantly for your hard work and dedication, and may he grant you success in this world and hereafter. I mean, uh, shout out to the Tech Girl Cartel. They're doing big things in the tech industry at Disruptors. I'm excited to be part of this movement. Uh, this is something that I'm very passionate about and excited about. Uh, 
again, TBI awareness, uh, free top G, and some things are best left wild.